Hey guys, it's Tarot and Beyond. In today's Pick a Card reading, we're actually doing a really fun collaboration with Oracle of Starlight. I will link the adjoining video in the description box below so you can check that one out. She's going to be covering how you will meet or connect with your soul tribe in the Great Gathering. And today in this video, we're going to be looking at when and potentially why you are coming together with your soul tribe in this, what we are calling the Great Gathering. So we've got three groups as usual to choose from today represented by these cards. Group number one is the Initiation card. Group number two is the Seclusion card. And group number three is the Birth card. If you feel called to more than one, that is totally fine. Maybe you even feel called to all of them. Take the messages from within the readings that resonate with you and leave the rest. We'll see you in your readings. All right. Hi, group number one. Welcome to your reading. So let's find out how you are coming together with your soul tribe, what to expect, when this might happen, and why this is happening as well. So you guys were drawn to or you chose the initiations card, initiation. So I do feel like this has been a rite of passage. This message about the rite of passage has come up in more than one reading recently. So this has been something that's been going on collectively, especially in the light worker, light warrior community. So there's been a lot of upgrades at soul level and these have been tests initiations um, quantum leaps forward is what I just heard yes quantum leaps that have propelled us into higher and higher timelines and through these initiations we're attracting in and connecting to the ideal aligned soul family members those of us who came in together incarnated with soul contracts to serve the community to help each other to grow and expand evolve heal um, and in service to the collective so i'm seeing that this initi initiation is happening right now so in terms of timing this is this is going on currently is what spirit is telling me so this is happening as we speak quite literally this video it may even be part of this initiation and activation the fact that you were drawn to this reading to my channel to my energy as i am an activator so if you're listening to my voice if you're connecting with my energy at soul level i am here to activate and initiate you into this higher stream of consciousness that will open this portal to the aligned beings that are meant to connect with you and whom you are meant to connect with as well all right we're going to go in with the moonology deck next to get some timing specifically on when this is happening. We have the North Node, step out of your comfort zone. I, like I said, I feel like this is happening right now. I didn't really need to get clarification on that, but I just wanted to anyway for you guys. The North Node is being activated right now as we speak, as the eclipse season is happening. I mean, this is a timeless reading. All my readings are, but if, especially if you're watching this at this moment that this is airing, we are stepping into the eclipse portal and the eclipses do activate the north and south node axis. So this is causing you to step out of your comfort zone. That's the same thing with initiation. You can even see with the symbolism in shape here of the door. Look at how it's an archway and the north node looks like an archway. So you're going through this gateway into a new reality. They keep giving me the, the phrase quantum leap. Your quantum leaping, timeline jumping, reality shifting. We're going to get one more from this deck. And moving into the next level of your incarnational process is what Spirit just said. Incarnational process. Okay. The end of a tough cycle approaches. Full moon in Capricorn could be significant or Capricorn energy. Capricorn season is what? December? Yeah. December. So December could have been significant in an, they're telling me activation, something in December was activating for you or will be activating for you. I'm feeling it more past tense. I actually feel these two cards only. Okay. Wow. Communication. So there's going to be some communication that's coming in from soul tribe and soul family members. And a lot of those of you who have been lone wolfing it, I know a lot of us do that. I can speak for myself and say, yes, definitely. I've been in that phase for a while. This 
This end of the cycle that was quite challenging, difficult testing. Again, it was an initiation process that was getting you to the next level of embodiment. Even here we have the number nine in the card, which talks about endings. December, right, is the ending of the year and then it goes into January. So yeah, I, I do feel like this year is the year that a lot of these these communications are going to be coming in and you're going to be seeing both yourself stepping out of your comfort zone, putting yourself into your path of service or onto your path of service, and also seeing people who are aligned to that and so in, in support of that at soul level coming in through communication. Now they're also showing us gratitude. So being in the energy of gratitude is going to make you magnetic is what Spirit just said. It's going to make you magnetic. So as you step into gratitude, you attract and draw in the people who are of a like vibration, who are going to be in that same frequency of what you're trying to do or this gratitude energy that you're exuding. I am seeing the release of attachments. The octopus and the jellyfish can, in a spiritual sense, actually refer to attachments of lower vibration not the animals themselves those can represent symbolically like good things right but i'm seeing it more in terms of like the light body when we're activating and i've seen jellyfish and, and octopuses and stuff like that in the etheric field and a lot of the time it's attachments dark attachments that try to keep you stuck in old karmic loops and cycles and they they, they mess with your mind like they can actually dig into your nervous system through the etheric field of the light body. So it's like this bridge between the light body and the physical body. They anchor into the nervous system and they start messing with your brain waves to make you think that you need to hide yourself away or be in fear or that you can't conquer these initiations or that you're doing something wrong. So I'm, I'm seeing and I'm being called to tell you, group number one, that that is something that is ending. So you are ridding yourself of the attachments that were keeping you stuck in these looping cycles of karma, separated from your purpose, separated from your your soul tribe, separated from your destiny is actually what Spirit just said. Oh yeah, and the North Node is to do with destiny. Right, thank you, Spirit. That just makes so much sense. So I see you, group number one, significantly shifting into a higher vibrational frequency right now, and you're being called to communicate this. Um, because there's something about your communication style that's important. Harmonic flight. Look at that. The mirroring energy, merging, coming together, opposites attracting, infinity, DNA activations. All of this is coming online now. And it's through the energy of gratitude. They keep bringing me back to that message. So pay attention to gratitude as it relates to this process. And stepping out of this painful cycle through I think having gratitude for what you've been through because you're starting to see how it's all coming together now you're starting to see why it was important that it happened this way and the people that you're going to attract in or that you're going to serve even you know sometimes we attract in mates sometimes we attract in soul family or friends or alliances co-workers at the soul level who were meant to produce things with or create things with or bounce ideas off of but I'm also seeing for you group number one calling in souls that you're going to be helping specifically and we could also classify these as soul family members or soul tribe members too because you come from the same soul monad group but you just may be at a slightly higher vibrational frequency to be able to assist them to get there as well and so i feel like that's part of the service of your communication especially if you're if you're i was trying to say called to speak but it was trying to come out of my mouth as chosen so chosen to speak you've been chosen to speak uh, by by the creator, by God's source, by your higher self, you've been you've chosen for yourself to speak some kind of a truth to these people in your community. You have journey to wholeness, yeah, harmonic flight, journey to wholeness, and Earth Star Chakra initiation. <laughs> Can't make this stuff up. Initiation, initiation. You see, so confirmation of of what the message is here for you very very clearly this has been an initiation group number one and it was painful it was tough it was a long hard slog it was a tough journey or cycle i'm seeing a lot of south node stuff that you had to deal with on this journey to wholeness a lot of it being anchored specifically in the third dimensional reality and a lot of those distortions or those attachments or those negative entity 
uh, parasites and stuff like that in the field, we're keeping you stuck in that lower vibrational timeline on the three dimensional earth. But you're, you're shifting into 5D and above is what they're showing me. They're giving me all this coding right now. Like they're showing me all of the coding right here. So you're getting a lot of activations, third eye activations. Um, but but specifically truth, they're also so showing they've been showing me lily pads in a lot of the recent readings. So this is a main symbol that keeps coming up. The lily pads on the lotus can refer to summer as well. I was getting that from a previous reading with the ace of cups. There's something going on specifically in summer. They're showing me big gatherings clairvoyantly right now, like big gatherings of soul groups coming together physically, not just online. I think this stage of the game right now as we're speaking a lot of it is showing up digitally so we're, we're connecting through text through dms through comments through online groups zoom calls facetime chats whatsapps you know things like that we're connecting digitally but i'm seeing in summertime that there's specifically going to be a lot of different groups with different objectives is actually what they told me objectives it's kind of like we're remembering our mission statements at soul level and then we're being called from within by this great gathering sort of um ping that's going off in all the light workers and then we're being drawn together we're connecting communicating and then planning these trips or retreats or gatherings or connections or circles where we can come together and do or begin to initiate this healing work so pay attention to that inner call. Um, they keep showing me, and I love this scene in Anchorman, um, and they keep giving, I was getting a lot of synchronicities today about news and like um, news anchors and news information. So this is, this is like the hot news right now, not, not the, not the Fox news, not the like, not the, the the dark news. Um, this is like the light news. And uh, we're getting updates, like we're getting information about what's going on collectively, collectively in the light worker community. But anyway, this one scene is what they keep showing me in my mind of where Ron Burgundy blows the conch shell and goes, news team, assemble, assemble. And it's like they all come together. So there's this sort of unconscious call that's going out within the collective of these awakened souls. And we're all hearing it without realizing that that's what's happening. But it's like our soul feels it, senses it, knows it. And then of course, we just sort of synchronistic synchronistically or through serendipity come together with these like vibrational souls okay let's get some coffee cup oracle here on i think i want to ask why we're coming together this specific group because there's many different reasons why but the and the timing is going to be unique as well but i'm seeing for group number one it's happening right now uh and then in the summer it's going to be significant in the physical but I'm, i want to know why you guys specifically are coming together here opportunities and home with the gate and again we have this sort of archway theme of like moving through dimensional portals or gateways literally gateways into these higher dimensional states of being so for you group number one you're coming together with your soul family right now in this great gathering because you're you're meant to be going home in the sense that you're meant to be connecting to the divine energy from which you originate and then embody that here and it's like people that are going to help you not to help you do that but that you're going to be able to amplify and really mirror that back to each other so as you come together with your community this is like your wolf pack you know um and and through that connection there's wholeness there's a sense of being home with these people you know them they know you at soul level even if you're just getting to know each other at the human level like names faces personalities but at the soul level they are your home because they are part of your soul family where you come from that over soul group we have desire and attraction with the snake so what I'm getting from this is, again, breaking attachments, negative distortions, specifically fear. But I'm also seeing it's like the garden in the gate. It's like returning back to this utopia from within that we originated from, like the Garden of Eden, but it's it, it's within the self. It's not a physical place. But we're reactivating that consciousness of innocence and purity and trust and safety and connection through highest love. Now, the other thing I'm seeing with 
attraction here is again, I was saying like gratitude is going to be magnetic for you, group number one. So be in the energy of gratitude, gratitude for everything, gratitude for life, gratitude for the people who are coming in, for the souls that you are connecting to, for the divine archetypes, they just said, divine archetypes that you are expressing and being able to embody. Okay. You have directions, directions and journey with the ship. And I'm I I've immediately my eye was drawn down to step out of your comfort zone again. So I'm seeing that there's going to be some kind of a journey that you will be called on or a direction that you will be. They're showing me the the captain of the ship cranking the wheel to the right. So it's like there's a sharp right turn. That's another message that's been coming up in several of the recent readings. Spirit has really been driving that theme home that there's going to be a pivot or there's going to be like a sharp turn in a lot of the collective, specifically those that are drawn to this channel. And they're saying dream ship. There's something about a dream ship. What is that about? Ooh, luck and money, coins. This is going to be a lucrative venture. I heard the word venture. And that also makes me think of adventure, <laughs> you know, like going on an adventure. Pirates looking for treasure, but we're not pirating anything. We're just reclaiming what's already ours. We're going on like a treasure hunt for what's ours. And the connection to the right people at the right time in this soul community is going to help you do that. Now, I said, I, I said, I, they showed me the, the the captain steering the ship and cranking the wheel. And here we have it. That was exactly the wheel that they showed me. Endings and beginnings with the wheel. So again, we have confirmation of a tough cycle ending. It's coming to a close. And then there's this new beginning happening where you're stepping through this gateway and attracting more blessings to you, like a lot more blessings to you. How can I put this like that? Yeah, a lot more blessings coming in group number one. Rabbit, pregnancy and fears. So fa face your fears, I'm hearing. Face your fears because this is going to be part of closing out that tough cycle. And I'm hearing fears around being seen or connecting to other people. It's like fears around vulnerability. Oh, they just said needing people. Fears around needing people. And I'm hearing this line in my head, I, I need you, but I don't want to need you. Okay, um, and I think this this may have been part of the tough cycle where you either had to go it alone because I was getting that lone wolf energy or you, you had to learn how to balance out how you can take care of yourself and also receive the support you need. So it's like this, this tightrope that they're showing me you walking, trying to balance these two sort of sides of the equation. How do I take care of myself and trust myself while at the same time being able to receive support when I need it? So it's like this... Yeah, this balancing act between independence and interdependence. Love and new love. Okay, I, I, I wasn't, I wasn't going to say it, but here now they have it. All right, so they were showing me with attraction and new directions. They showed me a pivot and this particular group that you're being drawn to or the, the souls that you're coming together with, one of them may be a romantic interest, a counterpart situation, somebody who you are going to be in a long-term relationship with. They're showing me marriage. Yeah. Okay. Hmm. And that's why communication is going to be so important, but I'm also seeing just love in general being important. Obviously that's like the name of the game. That's what we're here to do. We are love warriors. We are love leaders. We are embodiments of that love. So Relocation, home and house. Okay, so the new direction, the initiation, going through this gateway may be quite literally moving to a new location. And for whatever reason, that is leading to a lot of abundance. It could be because you're needing to relocate to connect with these people or to uh, be, in a, yeah, be in a location where you're closer to your soul family is what they're telling me. So movement, physical movement, moving homes. And this could be happening in the summer because they're bringing me back to that energy of the lily pads again. Okay. Challenges and achievements, the mountain. This is a significant symbol. Again, it's been coming up over and over and over in the readings. And I, I do feel like this is, this is the achievement that you've unlocked. <laughs> they just showed me in Xbox when you unlock an achievement. And it's like, do, do, do. And you the scales, justice documents. Yeah, again, it could be a marriage. Either way, it's partnership and there's karmic balance coming here. But yeah, they were showing me the achievement unlocked, 
like in a video game when you've 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 been through all of the trials of a particular level and then you achieve something because you've earned it because you've you've put in the work or the effort or the time and you've developed that skill is what they're showing me and that's why it's like it's time now to step into your destiny and this could have to do with moving to a new location and being with a particular person or a group of people i'm seeing actually both it's a group of people and a particular person who and they're showing me mate for life they're showing me two wolves who mate for life and then there's a wolf pack around them as well so it's not just one person it's it's all of this and there's there's something about this this individual and these group of people that are like home and I'm also seeing this new location becoming this very stable, rooted, anchor home, anchored home. Yeah. Okay. Let's get some tarot cards for some additional clarity on when and how, or when and why this is happening. Page of Swords. Well, it's happening right now, like I was saying, um, especially the digital side of it. As I was saying before, the digital side of it is happening right now. I'm seeing a lot to do with communication. So reach out. Like if you feel the nudge to reach out to someone, do it. Because there's a reason for that. Temperance. I heard things are finally balancing out. Things are finally balancing out. The sun is rising on the horizon over the mountains in the background of the temperance card. So again, it's the same thing here. It's like the light at the end of the journey up on the top of that mountain. After this tough cycle of grieving and possibly going it alone, being going through all of these challenges, blood, sweat, and tears, having to let go of a lot of people, I, I mean, that's pretty stereotypical on this path of awakening. We, we tend to wake up and realize that the people around us are either toxic or just not on the same wavelength or we're not we're not able to really show up and be our authentic selves with them. And so we kind of go it alone for a while and we have to go within and really do this deep dive into transmutation work, shadow work, inner healing, integration, this journey to wholeness, right? <laughs> if you're here on the channel, you're probably familiar with this. And if you're not, you could be on this path right now. And so this can maybe give you some insight into what that can look like. But then eventually we come out of that, right? And, and then we start to connect with the right people. Once we've gone into more of this state of wholeness and inner balance this harmony just naturally starts to magnetize our group to us and so we start to connect with them and I've seen that myself personally like every time that I level up and expand and quantum leap to a new state of consciousness and embodiment I see people coming in left right and center and it's not just like fleeting people that come in with a message sometimes that's the case but for the most part I've seen people coming in and becoming major staples in my life and major assets in my own spiritual healing and this reciprocal energy of love the death card just yet again more confirmation of the ending of this cycle the end of that tough cycle is happening they're giving me december again and they're also showing me scorpio and scorpio is in november i believe yeah so november and december were or are going to be very significant um, like I said, springtime at the time I'm filming is this is also important and then summertime. So those are kind of like the three staples um, past, present and future they're telling me. Past was the winter time, present is current now springtime and the future is going to be the summer. Yeah. And if you're watching this in the future, past the the spring or past the summer, uh, just ro roll it forward to the next cycle of those seasons. And we have the King of Wands. Masculine fire energy could be significant here. I just heard entrepreneur. You could be called into an entrepreneurial role. I, I keep getting communication. So for this group, I feel like you guys are speakers, teachers, writers, singers, um, prophets, readers, possibly, uh, creators i just heard yeah creators but a lot of this circles or or is very sort of contingent on communication in one way shape or form so the more you communicate the more you're going to find the right people so like put your voice out there into the world because i know personally the way that my team is finding me is through my videos and spirit called me to do this work 
because it makes me visible, because it puts it out there. It sends out the frequency and then we connect. And it's the same thing. That's how I'm founding my people too, is because I'm watching their content or I'm drawn to their voice or I'm listening to their their music, right? And it's like we, we connect in that way. So this is what I'm seeing for you, group number one, is, is really shining your light, putting yourself out there, being in service to, to the collective through this creative business or this voice or whatever you're called to share um, and stepping into that full on like moving completely out of this old pattern of detriment is what they're telling me detriment lack loss grief separation and moving on this path that is destined for you check out your your north node in your chart as well like what house is it in what sign is it in that can give you some information about what you're meant to develop skill wise and the path you're meant to walk in this lifetime and that can help you to again get yourself into alignment with that and then to see these people come in as a result yeah oh my god queen of wands counterparts i did say counterparts i was getting that earlier with that love card and they were showing it to me before with the ship and yeah so um matching energy masculine and feminine yeah okay we're gonna get a final closing message from my channeled messages deck this is just like a handmade deck that spirit and i created there's time to spare at this point in your life you can get away with slowing down and relaxing your approach the fates are moving and reordering things beyond your control and scope of vision relax and have faith all will turn out well in due time so like i'm saying when it comes to timing it's happening right now but then there's also this divine timing and order that they're showing me. And that's why they're saying, don't worry about the timing specifically, because there's time to spare in the sense that all of this is happening in a very destined, faded way. So everything that you have done, that you are doing, and that you will be doing in the future is all connected to this very structured and ordered sequence of events is what they're telling me. Sequence of events. And it's not something that you can mess up. It's hardwired or hard-coded into, into like your operating system at the soul blueprint level. So, uh, it's okay, just relax, slow down, and allow yourself to to take this process at a pace that feels good for you, that feels safe is what they're telling me. And then there's going to be a sharp right turn, there's going to be a pivot, and it might be quick, but that's why they're saying just let yourself kind of relax with it right now, let the wind carry you. They're showing me that's the, the boat again, and it's like, or the ship and, and the wind carrying it forward. And then all you have to do is let that wind carry you. And then as soon as you get the signal, you crank the wheel and you, you shift direction and you go in this new path and it will become obvious. I am curious about what this new path is and I wasn't going to get more cards, but let's go into my new, my new deck that um, we are in the pre-state of publishing. It is available for pre-order, the Synchronicities Oracle. Okay, we'll get this one. Fireflies. And it did want to fall on the... Uh, king of wands which is fire energy so it makes sense right fireflies fire signs um i'm seeing okay i'm seeing your light being bottled right now they're taking me to the sun in this card and the sun in this card so your light was kind of like shielded behind in some way and this was part it was part of the process of bringing things back together a notification on my phone just came through and it says one day left. Okay, that felt significant. I did feel called to mention it. One day left and there was like an emoji of a megaphone. <laughs> so one day left to communicate or something. But again, they're saying don't worry about the timing because it's almost like this is just going to happen without your need to really worry about if you're doing it right or wrong like it's just going to happen anyway so just relax but they're showing me that there's your light was kind of like uh bottled in some way and through this process of this tough cycle ending it's finally going to be shining we have the collar ah that sits on the throat chakra yeah you were muzzled in some way group number one and that cycle is ending. It's the end of you hiding your light is what they're showing me. You're not going to hide your light anymore. And it's through this reclamation of yourself and this coming back into wholeness with you and really understanding who you are, what you need, why you're here, what you're doing, who you need to connect with and why. 
and what you value that you're going to you're going to take the collar off you're going to take the muzzle off i know this is a collar but they're showing me a muzzle and you're going to be able to speak your truth you're going to hit it right on the mark the darts you're going to hit the target here and they're showing me somebody blindfolded and throwing the dart and hitting a bullseye okay so again don't worry about what you need to do just focus on releasing 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 healing i'm seeing a lot of heart healing being important for this group heal from your heart get that energy flowing through with the energy of new love and higher love and anchoring that gratitude to open your heart more and you're it's like they're showing me like a, they're showing me luke skywalker blindfolded with his lightsaber uh hitting all of the targets yeah it's like you're going to you're just going to feel the force moving through you and you're going to hit the mark every time so don't worry you've got this and your team is waiting for you at exactly the right time and vice versa you're waiting for them but it's all going to be in exactly the right time Okay, so for now, just focus on closing out this cycle, releasing old attachments, stepping more into your path of service, walking through this gateway into your destiny, being willing to open up and communicate authentically, reclaiming these parts of yourself, and then trusting the process. Pivot as needed, they said. Pivot as needed. <laughs> okay, that is what I have for you, group number one. I hope you enjoyed the reading. Don't for forget to check out Oracle of Starlight's companion reading to this one on how this will be happening. Although some of some of this information sort of come, came up here, but um, definitely check out that other reading. It's linked in the description box below. If you guys are interested in pre-ordering the Synchronicities Oracle, you can do so through the link in the description box as well. The more people pre-order it, the faster we'll be able to print the bulk shipment and get those orders out. So thank you for helping me to make this dream a reality. I love you guys, my fellow Soul Tribe and family members. I'm blessed to have you here on the channel in this great gathering. I love you and we'll see you in the next reading. Bye. All right. Hi, group number two. Welcome to your reading. We are looking at the great gathering and we're going to find out why and when this is happening for you. You chose or were drawn to the card seclusion. Number 32 is really standing out to me. 32 could be a significant um, timing, uh, sp like 32 years old for somebody specific. That's not going to be a message for everyone, but they're showing me 32 years old. And three plus two is five. So five, the fifth month could be significant. What is that? January, February, March, April, May. May, May could be significant. Um, the energy of five can also talk about movement, travel, expansion. Uh, they said changing places. Okay. Let's actually get another one of these cards from the Sacred Portals deck for group number two. Okay, there it is. Descend. Wow. Seclusion and descend. I feel like for you, group two, you've been in this process of they're showing me like spiraling into the underworld of your subconscious mind. And you've needed a lot of seclusion to be able to do that. It is a very solitary process. It's like the hermit card in the tarot. And you needed to do that because there were parts of yourself that you needed to fully understand and see and bring into the light or to the forefront of your conscious mind in in preparation for what this next stage of the great gathering is calling for we needed each individually to understand ourselves more deeply and then as a result be able to connect with those who are on a like vibration and be able to recognize and discern that because we've met all of the different various parts of ourselves, including the shadow and they're showing me this for you group too a lot of shadow work here around self and identity and especially the darker aspects of the self and that leading to you being able to find your tribe so let's get information on sort of when when this is happening or when this connection is taking place a new start is coming new moon so a new moon could be significant around a new moon they just said watch the lunar cycles uh this is coming as well 
So it could be the next upcoming new moon or the one after that. Something soon though. So, and, but when spirit says soon, and they do this a lot, it can mean anything from uh, an hour to three years. Like <laughs> Because the, the way that time works in the non-physical is not the same as it does here. We experience it very linearly, but in the non-physical, it's all kind of layered and smushed into the present moment and it's all one thing. So when it's kind of hard for them to translate time, but the sequence of time unfolding is divinely ordered. This new start is coming and it's being triggered or catalyzed by something that you're going through around a new moon cycle. And they're showing me somebody in the in the wilderness. I don't know if this is metaphor or literal, somebody in the wilderness around a new moon and looking up at the sky and and seeing that dark moon there. That could be significant or possibly yeah, I'm seeing stargazing, so south node don't let your past hold you back a lot of past life work that you had to do in this process of shadow shadow integration group number two that's pretty standard when it comes to light workers and light warriors we have to do this work to be able to step into our full authenticity to understand ourselves and to understand what we're dealing with in the outside world so that we don't project it and then reject it. So, you know, we have to own it. And I'm seeing you've had to do that a lot. Your your south node is actually, it's not just something that holds you back. It can also bring you gifts and awareness and understanding. It's the things that you've mastered in previous lifetimes. The issue is that you don't want to get stuck there. You don't want to feel too comfortable in your south node and then prevent yourself from moving forward. Because I'm seeing that around this new moon cycle, which could be something to do with the eclipses. I was going to say that earlier when they were showing me the wilderness, but for some reason I like stopped saying it. Uh, so I actually won't edit that part out because I was going to, in my head, I'm like, I'll edit that, cut it together so it's, it flows. But no, I'm not going to edit out that little sort of glitch because I feel like it's significant now that I'm seeing these two energies. You need to do something to shift out of the past is what they're telling me. And then the eclipses are activating the north and south node. And that's why it's kind of happening like right now. So the next new moon, if it's, an, if it's an eclipse especially, this is going to be very significant for you, group number two. So pay attention to what comes up. You could have some recall stuff. I, I mean, th these are timeless readings, but if we're talking about this eclipse season, the eclipses are coinciding with Mercury going retrograde on April 1st. <laughs> so yes, lots of stuff from the past coming back up for review. They keep giving me the word reclamation. So it's like reclaiming parts of yourself. Oh, it could have to do with your self-worth. You are good enough. Full moon in Virgo. Virgo season also feels significant. When is Virgo season? I always forget. Okay, so when is this happening? Compassion. Okay, I'm, I'm going to get more. Hold on. Balance. Okay, 10 and 2. They they. I was going to say something about the number 10 and they said, hold on. And then I said, okay, I'm going to pull another card. And then we have a 2. And they said 12. Okay, so 12. The 12th day is significant. It could be April 12th or the 12th of the Virgo month. I don't know when that is. When is Virgo? Uh, Virgo is the 6th house. So that's the 6th month, January, February, March, April, May, June. No, that can't be right. Whatever the 12th month or the 12th day is on Virgo season. And there's something about that that I'm seeing the energy of this seclusion ending and this need for connection being almost like compulsive. The energy of it will be so strong that it will pull you. It will push you. It will push and pull you <laughs> at the same time. And this descent will all of, a, all of a sudden turn into a very rapid ascent, group number two. So prepare yourself for that. Walk your truth. Number nine, three and five, nine, and you've got nine here as well. Unconditional love.
I'm seeing a lot to do with compassion for yourself and this improving your sense of self-worth and then that impacting how and when you're going to be connecting with your soul tribe. So the more that you can master this self-compassion practice and find this balance within the self, integrating these dark and light parts of the self so that you can walk your truth authentically, that's what's going to really set this into motion. They keep saying past life work. Yeah, past life work. Okay, we have star seer. Look at the ladder there. That's always my symbol for ascension. And I was just talking, well, they said descend and here we have ascend. And that's exactly what we were just talking about. You're going to be ascending and I'm seeing it rapidly, very rapidly. I'm getting like avatar consciousness. Okay, so like stepping into a much more expanded consciousness of yourself. Trust your innocence. Wow. It's like you had to go down into the underworld of yourself and completely completely cut yourself off from the rest of the world to truly discover the innocence, the purity, and the worthiness within you by facing those demons within the self, the darkness, the past lives, the failures, the fears, the distortions, all of these things. Wow, this was a big process for you, group number two. Really big process for you. Now, when it comes to, yeah, 10. Okay, so this is the end of the cycle. Um, they're showing me him dropping all of these wands clairvoyantly. He's just letting them go. So I see you finally being able to let go of the past. And they're, again, they're highlighting the number 10 here and there was 10 here. So 10, 10 and two. Hmm. And you have the high priestess. I did just get a message for some of you in this group that you are going to help other people clear karma as well. So as you come together with your soul tribe, because you have mastered how to do this within yourself, you're going to either be teaching other people or helping and assisting them in doing this for themselves as well. Akashic reading or clearing, soul realignment practitioners, I know there's a few of them who are here drawn to my channel. Um, because I also am a soul realignment practitioner, Akashic reader. So clearing past life karma, um, your shamanic healing, psychic readings and clearings, any kind of, of um, they just said interdimensional, but I was going to say any, any kind of like past life or parallel life healing and clearing is going to be significant here for yourself and then for others as well. You could also be attracting these people in to help you to release this burden. I th I'm seeing both, like you are releasing a lot. This The lion's share, they just said, you've done the lion's share of this work, but there's going to be people coming in in your soul tribe that you're attracting, magnetizing to you that are going to help you to, actually they're showing me that they're going to be helping you rebuild. Re rebuilding based on this new version of yourself that you're, you've you've kind of created, you've birthed into being, that you've remembered is probably a more accurate term that you've remembered. You're coming home to yourself. And then as a result of that, accessing that knowledge, that self-awareness is bringing in people of, a, like I said, a like vibration because it's in, it's in alignment with your truth that is going to help you to balance and create because they're actually showing me these sticks now it's like you drop them all and then somebody comes in and says oh well we can use some of that and build a log cabin <laughs> it's like he's got all this wood you might as well use it to build a log cabin and uh and then you have like a little vacation home and they're also showing me and this has been a synchrony synchronicity that's been coming up for me the last couple days and i wrote it in my journal um the three little pigs and oh yeah it's, it's like building building a better home building a better light body building a stronger foundation so that it can't be taken or torn down and instead of building the house out of sticks which is like this oh yeah you're not building it out of sticks you're building it out of so something more solid because in the past maybe you tried to build homes metaphorically speaking out of these things from the past and it was like building a house of sticks and then somebody would come along and blow it down so this time around 
you're putting down the sticks and you're picking up something a lot more solid. It's like metaphysically more solid. So it's kind of a paradox in the sense that it's more solid, but it's not solid at all because <laughs> it's quantum. Uh, it's, yeah, it's metaphysical, but you're, you're picking that up instead and building from that. I'm feeling like it's building out the light body. Two of cups. I'm seeing a very significant friendship here for you, group number two, specifically one person, strong friendship, someone who is helping you to bring awareness to these things and to build a better foundation. They're helping you to alchemize and transmute the past as well, especially if this person is highly psychic, but I also feel like you and this group are very highly psychic as well. So it's like two people operating on this very high level who can mirror back the truth to each other without one being higher or better than the other it's like there's there's a level of equality here that's very balanced and really it's almost like um it's just mirroring back each other's blind spots in a very compassionate very loving way yeah page of pentacles offering something up to build something much more stable so it's like if if before you were building with those sticks now you're building with with bricks like the, the page of pentacles is the earth element so this quite literally is like bricks, uh, brick and mortar, they just said. Yeah, brick and mortar. Oh, maybe this is a business opportunity too. A brick and mortar business opportunity. Seven of pentacles. You may have, you may have had to wait a long time for this. This may have been something that you've been trying to grow for a while. Or something that you've invested in, but you haven't seen the fruits come back yet or the harvest was not available to you it's like you sent your ideas or your communications out into the world and you haven't heard back yet or you yeah i'm seeing you didn't hear back yet but it is going to come into completion and again we have the number 10 so the number 10 and the number 12 are very significant the 10th month the 12th month i feel like those are going to be important in and they keep giving me the word brick and mortar. So making something very physical and tangible in your life. Something you've been working on. The moon card. Something psychic. Something intuitive. Something that you practiced while you were doing this really intense shadow work to balance yourself out. That's really what it feels like. It's like you, you had to go into this seclusion so that you could master this. Technique is what they just said. Some kind of technique self-healing they said okay and if this isn't you this could be the other person that you're magnetizing to you and they're going to teach you this technique to overcome mental distortions fear shadow yeah they, they keep saying shadow integration shadow integration really important here for you group number two and i'm seeing a happily ever after i'm seeing this coming together in this very innocent approach to friendship it's it's almost giving me like i just saw my little pony flash over, across my mind right before i was about to s say that sentence um and my little pony is all about like the magic of friendship and it's these friends that come together and they all have these different abilities and skills and they support each other in this sort of team effort towards a common goal and it's like the friend the power the magic of friendship being able to overcome any darkness so that's kind of what i'm seeing here i'm seeing a lot of friends um, and one very, very specific friend that is like a best friend. This is um, a definite soulmate for you. It's not romantic. It's very platonic is what I'm seeing. But this person may, may become a business partner for you or you may do something together and create something really stable and strong. I did also just hear roommate. So for some of you, this could be somebody who you end up living with or um, yeah, some, something about roommate. Okay, we have the that's not true card. Where are you lying to yourself? This situation is calling you to face a difficult truth. Know that once you admit the truth to yourself, there will be relief. And we had the walk your truth card so that the information that they really want you to know here, group number two, is that when you are in your truth, your personal truth, which means facing all of the non-truths within you, that's when you're going to see the alchemy really happen and manifest in the outside world in this great gathering of the soul tribe members. But I'm also seeing that this person that you are drawing in or have drawn in is 
they're going to mirror back your truth to you. And the example that's coming to mind is actually one of my soul tribe members who I attracted in years ago because I was offering soul realignment readings and she came to me for that. And I remember the first time that I I did a reading for her, I felt this intuitive hit of we're going to work together and we're going to be friends. And it's been three, almost four years now. And that has all come true. We have worked together and there's still even more to do. And we are friends. We talk like once a week and we help each other. We like mirror back these things to each other, these truths in a very compassionate, loving, innocent way. And it has been so healing for my heart to really be able to trust someone and to be seen clearly and to see them clearly without any judgment, only with love. It's so profound and deep. And that's what I'm seeing here. It's like the compassion allows you to go deeper into your truth and this person mirrors it back to you and vice versa. Wow. You can be happy now. In every moment, there is something to be grateful for. Are you looking hard enough? Get creative to find the happiness now. If you are frustrated with your process, I want to say that's the, the word they just, I've, there's two more. Hold on. Just put those aside. Um, if you are frustrated with your process, group number two, they're telling you to focus on being happy now. And this ten of pent or ten of ooh ten of pentacles ooh <laughs> yeah it could be something very brick and mortar that ends up being successful if this is a business partnership um, or friendship turned business partnership or you're living together in a beautiful home something about just being able to be in the energy of happiness that will really expand they're showing me huge expansion of this connection. The castle awaits. There's a home or desired living situation that is being made available for you. The more you seek it, the closer you get. It's waiting for you on the other side of your current situation. So I was seeing roommates. So this could be a living situation with a partner, a friend, or close to them. It doesn't have to be in the same home, but it's like you're going to be able to live somewhere that feels authentic to you and is maybe less secluded. If you, Especially if you've been living too secluded, you're going to be connecting into a home, a space, and a tribe that makes you feel, I'm getting the word inclusive, like you're, you're, you get this sense of belonging, unconditional love, and it's a much higher vibrational zone for you. Yeah. Things are unfolding quickly. Things are beginning to gain momentum. And although it may feel like things are not changing, you are simply not seeing all the growth growth that is currently below the surface. Soon you will see it was all worth waiting for. And this is kind of like the seven of pentacles energy. It's like the, the roots are growing down, but you don't see that because you're looking only at what's above ground. And I think that's why you had the descend energy as well. It's like you've had to do so much work behind the scenes and in the under, underworld and under realm through that past life alchemy that it may feel like nothing is moving, but they are really calling home right now to you, group number two, and letting you know that this is going to bear fruit, that things are actually unfolding a lot more quickly than you think they are. So I do get the sense that this is going to be happening very soon. And then there's going to be real physical changes, like physical changes in your actual life that you can see and touch and interact with within the 10th month and the 12th month specifically. Yeah. Yeah. And they're bringing me back to Virgo season again. I need to I need to memorize the the zodiac signs and the months because I don't know them off by heart. But anyway, there's something about the the twelfth and the tenth and Virgo season. So keep that in mind, but don't attach to any timing. Allow your soul to guide you through this process with unconditional acceptance, trust, grace, and faith, because everything that has happened, is happening, and will happen is all divinely aligned to this progression of the soul. And this connection is going to really help to expand that and evolve that even further. So you'll see that it's all worth it. All right. Oh, yeah. We're going to get a couple more cards. I was going to end the reading there and they, they said, no, there's a couple more things to talk about. And then we're going to get the um, Synchronicities Oracle deck, which is my new deck available for pre-order. You have the wine glass. Okay. Hmm. 
and the exit sign. And the tape. Four leaf clover. This is reminding me of serendipity. So there's luck here. You're exiting the past. You're, you're not going to be replaying the past anymore is what they're showing me. Like if you were stuck in these karmic loops where you kept getting the same results with different people, like you kept attracting in the same type of people that weren't allowing you to progress or that you weren't really being seen or you weren't honoring your own truth in those relationships because it wasn't safe to do so. I'm seeing that cycle completely ending and all the work you've done behind the scenes is no longer going to be invisible to you. It's, it's going to be very physically manifest and they're showing me the water to wine so it's like it's going to be a very drastic shift that's tangible and physical that you can see and touch and it's going to go from one state of being to another it's alchemy they're showing me yeah alchemy you also have the horseshoe so there's a lot of luck in this situation a lot of luck especially with that four-leaf clover so much luck wow and happily ever after the rainbow the rainbow is like really talking about this this alignment for you and you have Ganesh the remover of obstacles wow okay so anything that was blocking your path anything that was impeding you it's like you've dug it out they're showing me actually clairvoyantly roots in the ground from like a dead tree blocking the growth of the roots of the seeds that you've planted and it's like you're going down in there and you're dissolving the roots of the dead tree so that your live new growth roots have room to grow and anchor and they have the nutrients that they need so yeah all of the obstacles within the subconscious within the soul blueprint within the past lives in the akashic library they're being cleared out you've done a lot they keep giving me the word lion's share phrase lion's share you've done the lion's share of this work and that's why things are actually unfolding a lot more quickly than you think and just get ready for luck, okay? Because you're exiting out of this old pattern. You're going to start to see things manifesting now. So pay attention to your own truth and your own happiness. And you're going to see things. Okay, yeah, you've got the bow. This is two things. You're going to be tying up loose ends. Or you, no, they corrected me. You have tied up loose ends, group number two. You have. You've done this already. Okay, so you've tied up loose ends. And now you're going to be getting the reward from that. You're going to be seeing a gift offered to you from another person. So be open to receiving connection from people who have a like vibration. You have the emerald heart. And this can represent, um, well, specifically, it's about purity of heart. But um, esoterically, this is actually the emerald heart activation. This is a code within the light body. And it's connected to the Palliadorian covenant and the emerald heart, the, the guardian host. So if you guys know what that means, you know what that means. And... Um, this is, this is what I'm seeing here is that you're activating souls within that tribe, within that community, within that, um, within that covenant at the soul level. It's kind of like a mission statement. It's what we came here to do is to reclaim the, the planet in the name of love. So, and to rescue souls. So you guys are, um, connecting with someone specific who's really embodying that higher vibrational frequency. It's going to match yours. And you're going to see the magic of Christ consciousness because they were giving us that water to wine analogy. And the this is like the crystal heart, the Christos heart, Christ consciousness. So there's going to be miracles. <laughs> Get ready for miracles, group number two. Uh, yeah, so lots of blessings to you. Thank you so much for being here on the reading. I hope that this helped energetically to instill faith and connection in this community that is unfolding for you that you are connecting back to as you step into your truth and home frequency you are done the lion's share of the work okay so so let that be a solace uh, um, let that be a comfort to you that it's not going to be quite as hard anymore and it's time to come out of seclusion I'm sending you guys so much love I I hope this reading helps. If you guys are interested in purchasing the Synchronicities Oracle, it is available for pre-order. The link is in the description box below. And don't forget to check out the companion reading by Oracle of Starlight over on her channel. The link for that is in the description box as well. I love you guys and we'll see you in the next reading. Bye.
All right. Hi, group number three. Welcome to your reading. So you chose or were drawn to the birth card. It's the number one. So I feel like you are just about to emerge. I'm really noticing the rainbow standing out here. So pay attention to rainbow symbols or synchronicities around rainbows. There's something specific there that spirit is telling you to uh, connect to. Spe yeah, they keep giving me specifically the rainbow, specifically the rainbow. Very strong. Okay, so pay attention to that. Rainbow body, yeah. All right, so let's get information on the great gathering, coming together with your soul family, your soul tribe. When and why this is happening. Water, the overflow. Oh, what a beautiful card. I love it. Ooh, look at the diamond, like crystal lotuses. I just love the imagery here. It's gorgeous. I love art. I'm a very visual person. And because I'm being called to mention this, this may be something relevant to this reading as well. You could be a very artistic visual person as well. And I'm seeing crystallization of consciousness. They were showing me with the rainbow. It's like the rainbow body, the rainbow uh, spectrum of the crystalline body, they're saying. Okay, unique gifts. You may have very unique gifts that are going to put you in alignment with the right people at the right time, group number three. And this is a this is a message that I think applies to everyone in the light worker, light warrior community coming back together with soul tribe and soul family. The more we share our gifts, the more we stand in our truth, the more we resonate that home frequency. It's like a homing beacon that sends out this ping or call to those who are on the same frequency that we resonate with, that we incarnated through the, these like groups of souls or with these same soul contracts to come together and to support each other in this way. So the more you let your gifts flow, especially art, I'm seeing in this group, artistic. Because I did mention right from the beginning that I'm a visual person and that I'm noticing like the art of these cards. And I didn't say that in any of the other groups. So I feel like you have a very unique gift group number three in regard to art. I heard visual beauty. You could be very, very visually beautiful, group number three, or you could create things that are visually stunning. Yeah, I just keep seeing artistic, very third eye energy, okay? Like the gift of divine truth at soul level is, yes, it does give us clairvoyant abilities, but a lot of people who have this third eye activation within the soul blueprint are also highly, highly creative and very artistic, especially visually artistic. So that's something I'm seeing here. Full spectrum. I'm seeing the full spectrum of energy being activated within you. That's the rainbow body. Yes, yeah, chakras, all of the chakras opened, cleared, as you can see here, activated crystalline chakras. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Whoa. This is big, group three. Operating at a very high level. Solar plexus chakra being singled out here. <laughs> Radiant illumination. I'm seeing taking action on what you're creating. And it's like you channel this light through your entire body and then you crystallize it and you magnetize it or you like uh, magnify it actually, you magnify it and then you're able to you're able to create something with it. So make art. I really want to drive that message home for you, group three. Make art. Put it out there. Make it visible. Light encoded art is needed more by the collective and it also helps to draw in the people who are in alignment with you. Protective sigils can also help to ward off any negative people who may be drawn to your art in um, in the opposite side of that spectrum, because that's how polarity works, right? It's two sides. So you they're calling me to mention that. So put protective sigils or intentions into what you're creating, even if it's not just, a, even if it's not like a physical work of art, maybe it's something digital or energetic in nature, Just just put your energetic stamp into it channel that fluid energy through you, create something, and then protect it. That's what they're telling me. Fire, Solaris, Sublime. Lots of fire energy here in these cards. And they keep showing me the spirals, the spirals up and the chakra system or the DNA. You guys have very high level crystalline DNA activations that you've embodied or that you're, you're um, embodying now. You have the soul star chakra on the bottom merging with the divine. You see the same pattern. It's like this 
spiral network and then these activated chakras or lotuses within the self, the sacred seals, yeah. So you are calling in people of this like vibration. Golden crown, yeah, you keep having all a lot to do with chakras here. A lot to do with chakras. If you haven't done a lot of work on the chakras, they're calling you to. But I have a feeling that you probably have, group number three. And uh, this is going to help you to magnetize your soul tribe. Because when you embody this sacred light in harmony, and you're, I'm seeing like merging all the chakras as they become crystalline. Yeah. And it's through that you're calling in your tribe. What is this? Celebration. You're going to be celebrating some wins here. Celebrating some major wins. Seeds that you've planted in the past are blooming now is what they just said. Because you overflowed water onto those seeds and they took root. Oh yeah, she's underneath the ground. She's taking root, right? And then you're birthing up. You're birthing up. So you're going to start to see the manifestation of what you've been working on. Let go. Number 19. Okay. Old branches are letting go. You've got commitment. And victory. Okay, so there's definitely going to be success here. Celebration, victory. You've succeeded at something here. Very significant, group number three. And they're giving me springtime energy. And I'm recording this in the spring. So something is is like peeking up out of the ground that you've planted in the spring. All right, you have the world, and this is my Synchronicities Oracle deck. I feel like this group, number three, um, I'm feeling grid worker, grid worker energy. So because you've embodied this high level frequency within the chakra system and you've crystallized a lot of your chakras and embodied this high level, these high level light body activations, you are anchoring those into, they're saying crystal core of the earth. Okay. 10D, they said 10, 10th dimensional frequencies. And there's like specific locations on earth that you are connecting to in the astral realm or possibly physically, but I'm, I'm they're, the way they're showing it to me is in the astral realm. And they're showing me d disseminating your art again. So wherever your art travels to, again, you're activating the, the crystal codes within that grid area on the earth as well. So the people that connect to your art, when they're in that location, it anchors those codes. So you don't even have to travel to the location to physically anchor the codes or to receive the codes. It's like you can actually just send stuff out. It's convenient that way, isn't it? That's much better. You have the teapot. Blu-ray. I'm getting Blu-ray. Syrian, Arcturian, starseed energy coming through strongly in this group. So you have codes from within those galactic group consciousnesses or soul con soul groups. Yeah, they're showing me the crystal heart again. Phone call. You're going to get some phone calls from your tribe. I just got the um, August. I just got August really strongly. I, it came out of nowhere. I was looking at the phone and I heard August. Okay, so in August, you might be receiving a phone call. Somebody wants to get together with you is what they're showing me. They want to get together and chat about something that you've created. It could be something that you've created art-wise, or this could be somebody who's interested in in um, something that you've achieved. Maybe, maybe even something that you've... Um, yeah, it's, it feels like an accomplishment and somebody reaches out to you, okay? The seal. This is, again, confirmation of the chakras that they're called the seven seals. And when you activate the seven seals, you activate to this higher level of consciousness and you're able to crystallize and then you're able to build out the light body and then you're able to anchor that into the grid and you're able to help the consciousness of the earth expand. So I'm seeing a lot of that. Um, this can also talk about the stamp of approval, so something you've been committed to is going to get the stamp of approval. It's going to be very victorious. And you're going, I feel like you're attracting in aligned business partnerships, group number three. 
they're giving me the word alliance, alliances. So you're going to be making alliances with people who are working towards a common goal. It does feel like this is business, strictly business. That's not a bad thing. These are souls within your soul group that have been assigned a similar task or to assist you in yours. So it's it's a good thing that you're connecting with these people, but it's like it's, it's strictly business, but it's going to be very successful and very helpful to you. The astronaut. Yeah, I, I always get out of this world, or not always, but I, I'm getting it again, and I've gotten that before, out of this world. So something that you're doing is like the full spectrum, and it's out of this world. I, like I did mention starseed energy here. Galactic consciousness that you are anchoring in, it just flows right to you. Like you're such a clear conduit to the divine group number three. They're showing me a lot of white light energy coming in through your crown. And then you like seed that into the earth. Very strong. Yeah, very strong. So in terms of timing, like when will this happen? Okay, we have the Eight of Cups. Oh my God, I literally just counted on my hands. January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August is the eighth month. I forgot. And this is the Eight of Cups. And they did give me the name or the word August. I just said name. Maybe somebody is named August. But anyway, um, Something about August is going to be really significant for you, group number three. Queen of Swords. I'm seeing somebody's going to present you with an offer. They're going to reach out to you. Like they're going to call you and say, hey, I have this offer for you. Do you want it? And I'm seeing a contract. Signed, sealed, and delivered, they just said. Yeah, this is a business contract of some kind. Something that you will need to commit to legally is what they're showing me hmm yeah so think it over um read the fine print obviously do your due diligence consult with a professional but i'm seeing that if it feels aligned it is the hermit this is it it's going to it's going to relay this ancient wisdom that you have within you so that's why this contract is important because you're going to be you're going to be communicating something or sharing something you're disseminating knowledge in some way. You might be a little in two minds about this when this happens. Because it may put you a little outside of your comfort zone group number 3, I'm not going to lie, especially if you're the type of person who prefers to remain behind the scenes or, you know, it's like behind the camera or behind the the art like not being public. There's something here that I'm seeing this offer may kind of put you in the spotlight in some way. Knight of Pentacles, it's going to be lucrative. I just heard mutually beneficial. Mutually beneficial. And if you've not heard me say this before, I'll say it again. Soul level alignment is a win-win-win situation. So if you win, the other person wins, and the collective wins, that's soul alignment. If you win and the other person loses, or if you lose and the other person wins, or the collective wins on or loses on some level, that's not aligned. Reconsider. I'm seeing you thinking about this and, and taking your time with this offer when it comes in. But ultimately, I'm seeing the investment being made to commit to this path. Because the Knight of Pentacles, he takes his time, he does commit to a path, he strategizes and he invests wisely in a goal that he deems worthy. And I'm seeing that you doing something is going to attract an equal um, partnership and it's going to put you on a path committed to this growth. Nine of Wands. And they did give me the word publicity and the Nine of Wands is kind of guarded. So again, I'm getting this feeling of like, maybe you don't feel comfortable being fully public in some way or putting your art out there, but you're meant to, you're meant to show up and show out. <laughs> That's the phrase they just gave me, show up and show out. You're meant to share. You're not, my, you're not meant to hide your light, group number three. It needs to be visible. 
But maybe there's fear around it being rejected or what you have to offer. I just heard maybe there's fear of failing as well. I do. I feel like it's going to be lucrative and it's, it's going to be worldwide. You've got the globe and the world. So yeah, this is something that's going to be public. They keep giving me the word publicized, publicity. And the empress, it's something you've created. It's something artistic. It's something beautiful. The empress is ruled by Venus from the very beginning. I was noticing the beauty in these cards. It's something beautiful and, and uh, visible. They keep giving me that energy. So you're meant, you're meant to, you're meant to do this. They just really stood out the number three to me. Um, that's March. That's right now. Well, it's, it's at the end of March right now, but the, the third month. So March could be where this idea was birthed because the empress can have to do with birth. Oh yeah. Your <laughs> significator card is literally birth. Yeah. You may have been birthing this like right now. And then in August, something something unfolds, you get some kind of a contact that offers you this opportunity to expand globally. This could be an idea that you're getting, if it's not a literal person, but we're talking about the Soul Tribe gathering here. So I'm, I'm really feeling like this is an actual person, a business partner, but this is an aligned soul contract. Um, it, it's meant to help support you in getting your your energy across to the collective because that's part of your mission statement. So this person who has the energy, the money, or the, the whatever resources they need to be able to make this happen is going to help you to do this. But they also just showed me contact in terms of like star contact. So you may also be receiving a lot of connection with your spirit guides, with your soul family from these from these galactic communities they said galactic council okay so you're connected to these galactic councils of light um because you're operating at this high level and you're embodying that for the collective you're you're anchoring in these very high crystalline codes and then you're sharing them blueprinters could be significant here as well i did mention syrian uh arcturian and blueprinters those are the three that i'm really seeing strongly possibly indigo or indigo contracts could be significant too so pay attention to the eighth month. August is going to be really big for you, group number three. And if you have been in poverty, it's going to get you out of that. Um, or if you have been in unworthiness, it's going to get you out of that. The wounding is, is going to... Oh, they're telling me the wounding is going to prevent you from moving forward if you don't face it now. So go ahead and face it now, okay? <laughs> Uh, don't let that wounding stop you. Don't let that fear of being seen or having your art be seen. Maybe it's not even you. Maybe it's just your art or what you're creating. But don't let that fear stop you because um, it's not about your your personal experience. It's not about your identity. This is a soul mission. This is about the frequency that you transmit. And you are one of the high level transmitters that can do this. So it does need to be they said fulfilled, the contract needs to be fulfilled. So you do have a soul contract to relay or disseminate this information through your art. So that's why you're going to get the support and the resources. Okay, let's get one more card. I'm just feeling drawn back to the sacred portals deck. So let's get this one past don't let your past hold you back. <laughs> Group number three really truly the nine I know that you may have been through a lot to get to where you are. Um, and you still have a ways to go, but, but don't let your past hold you back. The number three standing out again. So three and 33 is significant. That's master number, mm, ascended masters. Yeah. You're, you're embodying ascended master energy. Okay. So this is why it's important that you share what you need to, because if you're operating at this high level ascended master frequency and you're hiding away and not sharing that, then you're actually doing the collective a disservice. This was actually something that came up. Um, somebody said this to me the other day and it really hit home. They were like, the most selfish thing you can do is not to share your gift. And I never looked at it that way. I was like, I wasn't sharing my gift because I was scared. I wasn't, you know, fully putting myself out there because I was afraid of judgment or rejection or failure or whatever. Um, but it's like, if you have a gift, you need to show up and show out because hiding it away is depriving people who need it. 
And as light workers, we're here to be of service. It's not about us as a as an individual, as a person. It's about the mission. It's about the service. It's about the evolution and expansion and ascension of humanity. So this the entire world, billions of people, and the earth itself too. So I'm really seeing like, don't let your past hold you back here on this because you're meant to be doing this. And this is part of the gathering for you. It's like you're gathering all of this wisdom from your Akash. You're gathering all this wisdom from your galactic community and the galactic council. Um, you're gathering all of this into your light body. And then you're going to be like blasting that out through whatever it is you're creating. Adventure. I heard buckle up. Oh, okay. <laughs> buckle up group number three, because you are about to go on an adventure. You may even get offers to travel the world. Touring, I just heard. You might be touring. Wow. And they're showing the, these all, these portals here in this card all, all of a sudden looked like, um, they're showing me two things. They're showing me Atlantis portals. Um, they're also showing me, what's that movie with uh, Jason Momoa where he's the, the fish man? Oh my God. <laughs> what, what is that? Um the superhero who has the the fish powers. <laughs> I cannot remember right now, but um, yeah, it feels like something about these these underwater portals. You could be working with star beings that have underwater bases, light frequency ones, not the dark ones, because there's both. They're also showing me um, the, the 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 initial thing that I was seeing here with this is actually like Stargate, the show. What was it called? Oh, it was in like the nineties. Was it called Stargate? Something like that. Yeah. And they had like these rings and then you would move through the Stargate. Um, Stargate activations. There are Stargates on the grid network of the physical earth. So you actually may be physically traveling and adventuring into those areas to do grid work, to do Stargate work, they said, specifically Stargate work, group number three. And the previous message about disseminating your artwork to different locations on the grid still applies, but the next level of this is going to be facilitated through these aligned soul tribe and soul family connections that are no specifically soul tribe for you in this instance. It'll be both, but in this topic that we're talking about, it's soul tribe because it's an alliance kind of situation. It's like a business partnership. It's not like your soul family in the sense that you you do everything with them and you love them and you know that type of vibe this is this is strictly business but it's going to help you to expand and to be in the locations that you need to be in when you need to be in them for the specific purpose of anchoring these very very high level codes to they're showing me healing the stargates yeah because some of them were were taken by the dark and uh distorted i won't go into that but yeah you're going to be working on some stargate stuff whoa oneness because you're embodying this this very high level oneness consciousness if you were drawn to group three this particular group you are operating at a very high frequency level of consciousness okay multiverse wow and I mentioned Marvel and they do have that that theme of like the multiverse, the Marvel multiverse and whatever his Aquaman. There we go. Thank you. <laughs> Finally, it just popped into my head. Aquaman. Something about Atlantis, Atlantean timeline, Stargate portals um, and, and the coding that you hold at soul level group number three is this energy of oneness and it bridges the gap. So it's going to be able to heal the planet through these Stargates, through the grid network and through your connections to the aligned souls that are going to come in around August. They keep reiterating August is very, very important for you. So pay attention to August um, and what's going on in that month specifically. Okay. So that is what I see for you. Group number three, I what a profound reading. Thank you so much for allowing me to do this for you today and to provide these messages. That's part of my role as a light worker myself. Don't forget to check out Oracle of Starlight's companion reading on how this will be happening. And if you're interested in purchasing the Synchronicities Oracle, that's my personal Oracle deck that I am working to self-publish and the pre-order is going on now. The link to order is in the description box below. I love you guys. Blessings on this journey to oneness and disseminating these light codes and healing the stargates. I'm sending you all my love and blessings and we'll see you in the next reading. Bye.